Hey, North Hills Church, this is Pastor Zach shooting you a quick video of encouragement. In the midst of the coronavirus um, spinning around our community, uh, the sheer volume of information we go through, the hurt we see in this world can make our heads spin. So I'm shooting this video to encourage you today to remind you of a few things that bring me peace. John 16, says, I've told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, for I have overcome the world. Jesus said those things to us. And knowing that God is still present, that he is in control, gives us freedom from anxiety and worry. We don't have to worry about tomorrow. The fact is, is that we as a church are just trying to be a faithful community that takes up their role in the biblical story, God's story. And that hasn't changed. The coronavirus hasn't changed that. I want you to consider these five essential questions and statements as we try to recognize our role in the story. First is, who is God? He is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He is good, great, glorious, and always gracious. What has God done? He has created us. He's established covenants. He came as our Savior, Jesus Christ, and he was crucified, resurrected, and he ascended to his throne. And then he sent us his spirit so that we can have peace. And today he rules over his church. And remember, who are we? We are a family of saints, missionaries, sent by God into the world for God's glory. And what are we supposed to do? We love God and we love others, our neighbors, the people in our community. The last thing that we have to remember is how will we organize to carry out this mission? The first four things haven't changed in the history of the world through every crisis. Only the fourth one needs to adapt. And so I want to inform you today that we are moving to phase three of our infectious disease plan. We're taking these, this move and as as a result, we're going to have to shut down our campuses and our, our, our office, our services for at least the next two weeks in order to protect our people and the surrounding community from the spread of this virus. For the time being, we're going to change some of our structures, our programs, and our organization, but we are always going to glorify God. Even through this video, I just felt your collective shudder. So let, rem let me remind you that God will never stop loving you or loving his bride, the church. We, as Christ's church, will never stop loving either. We will never stop worshiping. We will never stop shining a light in our community. We will never stop giving, serving, loving, and proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ. Pray with me. Father God, we know you are in control. Father, we know that your church shines brightest during times of crisis. And so we pray that you would open up the opportunities for us to love our community and that your church would shine all the brighter. We pray that we would have opportunities to worship together, to love each other, and to glorify you in this time. And it's in the name of Jesus Christ that we pray all these things. Amen.